horses coming onto the track for DeCoin's 12th race. The second elimination of the Governor's Cup. Again, the top five in the official order of finish come back for Saturday's $100,000 final. Post time Saturday, 12 noon. Don't forget $10.00. For reserve seating, $5 general admission. The ticket office is located behind the grandstand, and they do take both MasterCard and Visa. No scratches in race 12. Win play show exact away. Drink Tom Simmons drives the one hot bet. Patrick Berry on the 1A Princess Cole, and Michael Cox drives the four Dr. Dorsch. Folks, all kidding aside, being very serious, I believe that at this late juncture of the night that the crowd in the grandstand probably is as large, if not larger even now, than what we have seen most Monday afternoons over the last five years. So, folks, again, we thank you for being here with us tonight. Let's meet the starters for race 12. Number one hot bet is owned by the Mutt Stable of Downers Grove, trained by Tim Pinsky. Tom Simmons is in the bike. 1A is Princess Cole, owned by Brian Penske Stable, Tim Town, Vernon Shire Racing Stable, and R&D Samson Stable, trained by Tim Penske, Patrick Berry will drive. The 2, Live Out Loud, is owned by M&M Harness Racing of Suffern, New York, and by David McCaffrey of Burr Ridge. McCaffrey trains and Dale Heitman drives. Number 3 is Fox Valley Tigre, owned by Gene Rick and Gary Barbary of Carmi, Illinois, by Irwin Barbary of Lakeville, Minnesota, trained by Tim Barbary, the driver Andy Miller. Number four, Dr. Dorsch, is owned by Richard Dorsch and Michael Shan of Chicago, trained by Belvedere's Roger Welch, the driver Michael Cox. Five is Chevy Duramax, the Illinois State Fair champion, owned by Lloyd Arnold of Hartley, Delaware, trained by Mike Arnold, Tony Morgan, and the bike. On the monitors, here's the six, Fox Valley Assault, owned by Phil Langley, John Johnston, and Ken Spurlock, trained by Jim Eaton, the driver Ron Marsh. Seven is Fox Valley Jeeves, owned by Paula Smith, Lawrence Carp Jr., and Horseman's Financial Agency, of Valparaiso, Indiana, Hobart, Indiana, and North Aurora, Illinois, trained by Joel Smith, the driver Dave McGee. Number eight is Duke of Palma, owned by Stuart Oppenheimer and Gil Feeder of Irvington, New York, and by Edward Mann of Brooklyn, New York, trained by John Nessa of Altamont, Illinois, driven by Tim Tietrich. And number nine, Incredible Journey. In fact, on the monitors first, let's take a look at the five. Chevy Duramax, owned by Lloyd Arnold, trained by Mike Arnold, the driver is Tony Morgan. And now on the television monitors, here's the nine incredible journey coming up, owned by Jody Peacock of Cantrell, trained by Jody Peacock. The driver is Michael Osting. Post time on race 12 of our 13 events is coming up in less than four minutes. Trophy goes to the winner of the three-year-old Colt Pace Championship here at DuCoin. It goes to the winner of the two-year-old Illinois-bred Colt Pace Championship, as it has for many, many years. Here they come for this elimination of the Governor's Cup. They're off and pacing. There goes Fox Valley Jeeves for the lead. Chevy Duramax and then Dr. Dorsch, followed by Hot Bet down toward the inside. And Fox Valley Jeeves is determined to get to the front, and he makes the top by two lengths midway on the first turn. Chevy Duramax is still parked up on the outside of Dr. Dorsch, who's racing in third, followed by Hot Bet, Live Out Loud, Fox Valley Tigre, and Princess Cole. Further back, it is Fox Valley Assault, Duke of Palma, and Incredible Journey last. 27-1 and one for the first quarter, and Chevy Chevy Duramax was parked for every step of it. Chevy Duramax now makes the top, and he leads it by a length for the move up the back stretch. Fox Valley Jeeves is second a length and a half, followed by Dr. Dorsch, who's third by two. And then Hot Bed is fourth. Live Out Loud is fifth. He's five lengths off the lead and is followed by Fox Valley Tigre, who's toward the center of the pack. And here comes Live Out Loud. Live Out Loud moves up first over, followed by Fox Valley Tigre. Live Out Loud is up to challenge Chevy Duramax off a half in fifth. 55 and 4. Live Out Loud gets ahead in front. Chevy Duramax says, I don't think so. They're looking each other right in the eye on the final turn, and they are followed by Fox Valley Jeeves, who's third by just ahead. Fox Valley Tigre, fourth on his outside. Then Dr. Dorsch, Hot Bed, and Princess Cole, followed by Fox Valley Assault, who's eight lengths off the lead, and they're at the three-quarter. Chevy Duramax leads it again by a length. Live Out Loud is second on the outside. Fox Valley Jeeves, two lengths off the lead in third. Three-quarters and 123 and one. Chevy Duramax, the state fair champion, leads it a length and a half off the turn. Fox Valley Jeeves is toward the rail. Live Out Loud is there on the outside. They're moving by the eighth pole. Chevy Duramax by a length and a half. Fox Valley Jeeves, and then Live Out Loud on the outside third. These three inside the 16th pole. Chevy Duramax by a length to Fox Valley Jeeves and then live out loud. No catching the Duramax. Chevy Duramax wins it by a length. Look at the time. 151 flat. Wow. It was live out loud. Second Fox Valley Jeeves was third. 151 here in DuCoin. Lloyd Arnold, the winning owner, is moving into the winner's circle. Clyde Stevens, the man who 
bred and raised this colt and sold him to Mr. Arnold is going to join him in the winner's circle. Tony Morgan and Mike Arnold. This winning two-year-old gelding is by Armbro McIntosh. Folks, here he is, Chevy Duramax 151 flat. And folks, also in the winner's circle is a man who has raced the NASCAR Winston Cup Series, who has driven in the Indy 500, Indiana native Paul Goldsmith joins us tonight. Paul, welcome back to the DeCoin State Fair. It's nice to have someone from the motorsports world here enjoying the horse racing tonight. Let's get a word with our winning connections here in the winner's circle. First of all, Tony Morgan. Tony, there's, there's always a lot of pressure when you win the state fair. Everybody's gunning for you, but this colt showed he backed it up here tonight, didn't he? He's a very good colt. He's exceptional. Probably the best horse I've ever raced. He's, uh, he's just a, a really special individual and has manners to burn. He's just getting really good with the manners, and that was my only concern tonight. And it is a nice crop of two-year-olds this year in Illinois, so to, to beat a field like this, is it takes uh, a huge effort, no doubt. So this colt has pulled off quite an accomplishment. Mr. Arnold, it's been good to have you here with us at the State Fair at Springfield and down here at DeCoin. Have you enjoyed getting back to the State Fairs here in the Midwest? Very much. You're looking forward to Saturday, no doubt. You bet. <laughs> you bet. It pays 50 grand to win on Saturday. Folks, one more hand for our connections of Chevy Duramax here in race 12. The rundown is next. 